After hitting a six-week high, gold sold off earlier this morning to later regain traction post President-elect Donald Trump's press conference. With me now is Peter Hug, Global Trading Director of Kitco Metals. Pete, welcome back. Nice to have you on. Good to be here, Daniela. So I'm really, uh, you know, chasing the gold price here. Um, gold futures last traded down around 11.90 to an ounce, or up about 0.55 percent on the day. And I know that you had suggested 11.92 uh, was really a short-term target. Uh, so you called it there, Pete. Now what are you eyeing? Well, we saw the 11.92 uh, hit overnight, and uh, I think what happened this morning prior to uh, President-elect Trump's uh, news conference uh, was just some profit-taking. Uh, we had the uh, Dow up about 100 points uh, ahead of the news conference, and uh, you know I think uh, some of the traders just took the money off the table at 92 and, and caused a move down to uh, the uh, support level at the 1178 area. Uh, when Trump started speaking, I mean, his first comments uh, were towards the uh, insurance and, and biopharma industry, which hit the market fairly hard from uh, the Dow being up 99, it dropped to, uh, uh, to about 20 uh, to the negative. And that encouraged uh, selling in the equity market, which then, I guess, from foreign, from foreign selling generated dollars and those dollars were sold. Uh, which created some dollar weakness right as Trump was speaking. That dollar weakness uh, basically converted into renewed buying into gold and, and gold broke up through 92 uh, and currently is trading around 1195. I'm a little bit skeptical at these levels here. I wouldn't be chasing this market. If we can get a break or a close above 1202, uh, I'd be committed to a move uh, to the uh, mid 1220s. Uh, but I'd like to see 1202 taken out. At the 1195, 1197 area, I'd be more likely to be flat to short this market uh, with a, until I get a confirmation over 1202. And, and Pete, just on that note, uh, you know, we saw gold futures rally nearly $10 at the start of, uh, of this talk. So it seems to me gold continues to be so data and news sensitive here, Pete. I think it's more U.S. dollar sensitive, and uh, it's almost tracking inversely directly the, the value of the dollar against the euro and the yen. Uh, so in the short term, I think that continues to be the play. Uh, as long as the dollar uh, remains steady to weaker, I, I think there is uh, no reason to be selling gold. Uh, but if the dollar does break through the 105 euro area and starts approaching, uh, you know, 103 again, uh, which is what we saw in December, I think gold will have a headwind right. and possibly, uh, you know, sell back down. There are some significant events that are coming up in February with the elections in Germany and France, and those could be significant market movers. So there's a lot ahead of us uh, that could create some uncertainty in this right. market. But the short term trade here at 1197, I'd rather be short than long. And, and Pete, it also seems that the markets are really wanting information on what the economy is going to look like in 2017, but they're not getting that right now. Well, that's, again, one of the surprises from the news conference, you know, other than speaking about Putin and, uh, and uh, some of the intelligence hacking that's been going on, it's been in the news recently, uh, and uh, him reaffirming that he's going to build the wall, uh, again, with the unknown question as to how and who's going to pay for it. Uh, he didn't speak at all on the economic issues. Uh, he did speak, obviously, on some of his personal financial uh, issues, but not on the economic issues that are that are going to be put forward in, in for the U.S. economy on the fiscal spending side. And again, I think that took a little air out of the equity markets and created some support in the, in the gold market. We do need some clarity, and that's likely to happen, uh, you know, after the inauguration uh, next Friday. Pete, thanks so much for your thoughts today. You're welcome. And thanks for watching Kiko's Gold Report. We'll see you tomorrow when the gold forecast Gary Wagner joins us on set. Thanks for watching.